In this video, we're going to look at the mean and the variance of a discrete uniform. And so here we're going to let X be a discrete uniform from the uh, parameters A to B. That means X can take on integers from A to B, however many there are there. Uh, the density for it is 1 over, you know, how many there are, which is B minus A plus 1. So now let's first of all see if this is a PDF. So we're going to sum over all possible values of our probably mass function. And since there's no x or no index, we can take it out front. And then there's b minus a plus 1 of those. And so that is 1. Now to look at the mean, we want to take uh, x times its density. But the density comes out front. So we're summing the integers from a to b. And the formula for that is a plus b times however many there are, which is b minus a plus 1, divided by 2. Then those cancel, leaving a plus b over 2. Uh, before we find the variance, I want to find the second moment of this distribution. So the expected value of x squared is... Uh, it's the sum from A to B of our, our value. Well, here, um, there's probably some formula to sum that. I don't know it. So I'm going to change, have an index change. And basically, I want to start at from 1 to some number, you know, go from 1 to a number. And then I know how to sum integers and squared integers and etc. So we make an index change. We let Y equal X minus A plus 1. So then... The change of variable goes from 1 to b minus a plus 1, and then that's our new variable. Well, we're going to expand this, and that's what we do here. So inside we get y squared 2a minus 2y plus a minus 1 squared. Now, I have a video on summation formulas for integers if you want to review how to derive or how to calculate these sums. It's kind of a fun, neat little uh, video, and I'd recommend it. Because this, you know, summation is a linear operator, so we can look at this piece here, which is the sum of integers squared, and then we can look, at, you know, this will come out, and that's just the sum of the integers, and that's a constant. And so um, we do that, so we break it into pieces. So this becomes this piece, and again, look at this formula for this Look at this video for this formula. And then here, the 2 minus a minus 2 comes out. And then this is the sum of the integers from 1 to b minus a plus 1. And then that's a constant. And there's b minus a plus 1 of those. So that's what this is. Now, to save time and, and uh, a lot of uh, real estate on my page here, I take that and then simplify it. Uh, let me let me back up a second. I I uh, f I I uh, reduce it by dividing that in, and then I get this. Then the next step, the magic black box happens, where I do I simplify this and I get this. Okay. So now once we have that, we can look at the variance. So the variance is expected value of x squared minus expected value quantity squared. So this piece is this, and then the squared of the mean is this from the first video. Now, we combine these fractions into this, and then if we um, add and subtract 1 here, then we can reduce this to this formula here. And that's the variance of a discrete uniform distribution from A to B. And that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.